Hello, darlings. How are you? It's me, Bubula, coming to you from Jersey City, New Jersey, the epicenter of the universe, according to Bubula. So today is episode four of Don't Knock It Till You Try It, the Apple Investigation. I believe this is a gala apple. And I'm gonna cut it up. And I'm gonna eat it with some different toppings. And I was inspired, or actually a little scared, um, because I was, uh, you know, I've been Googling the strange pairings to bring you these episodes. And one of the things I read about was apples with ketchup. I'm a little afraid of this one, darlings. But what I've done is created this nice little palette of colors and things to try the apple in. So I'm going to do the ketchup first because that's what started this. And I've got some little pretzels to cleanse the palate in case that is not very nice. So I'm going to pull a couple of those out. These are these are delicious pretzel scallions. Okay, so I'm going to slice my apple. Apples are good for you, give you fiber, it makes you poop. All right, so I've got my apple. Dip it in the ketchup. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one, darlings. I'm going to try another bite. It almost tastes like you put soy sauce on it. I will not be trying that again. I'm gonna dive into my pretzel. I've tried it. Now I can knock it. Not for me. Maybe it's for someone else. So. I was thinking, since I'm trying ketchup, I should try mustard. It makes sense. It makes sense, though. Okay. Dip it in some mustard. Now, this is some spicy golden brown organic mustard from the Stop and Shop here in New Jersey. Whoa. Hmm. Oh. I think that's a little more interesting, although I'm going to try another bite. I think it always takes more than one bite. I think it needs to be paired with something else, maybe honey mustard. I do have honey on my plate, but I gotta I gotta cut some more apples. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna. I don't have a lot more mustard left on my plate because I thought it was daring, so I only put a little plop on there. Plop. All right, I got a little bit left. A smear. I'm gonna dip in my honey. In a pretzel flat. It's important to have a palate cleanser. All right. 
on to the next oddball thing. Since we're in the condiment section, well, most of these are condiments, but this one I found also on a website. Cream cheese and relish, sweet relish. And I have a nice organic, it's very hard to find the organic sweet relish, at least in my pots. Are you seeing that? A little cream cheese and a little relish. No, 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 that does not go. Mm -mm. Oh, darling, that was a mistake. Little pretzel. Woo. Who's doing that? Who's doing that, darling? Oh. I'm gonna try it with just the cream cheese, which sounds lovely, right? I think some cream cheese and maybe like a little sunflower seed or something. That's doable. All right, since we're on the cream cheese, we're gonna go right into the other cheese. Cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese. This is uh, Cabot. Hmm? Apple Cabot. So far, this is the most palatable to me. But my apple is not yearning for them ever again. <laughs> Cutting another piece of apple. I think I got things. We're in the dairy section. We've done the cream cheese. We've done the cabbage cheese, the cheddar. And now we're going to do it's yogurt honey and cinnamon, which sounds delish, right, darlings? I mean, how could you go wrong with that? Yes, yes, yes. Woo. That's a go for. And last but not least, something that us Jews are very familiar with the apple and the honey because on Rosh Hashanah every year we dip apples and honey for a sweet new year. So I'm going to do it right now. I've got me some nice organic honey from the Acme grocery store. This is good. This is good, darling. I'm going to do a little, since I'm playing on my plate, a little honey and a little piece of cheddar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. So that's the apple episode for you. I promote playing with your food, darlings, and, uh, you know, don't knock things till you try it. We'll open up a whole new sensory, eating sensory delight for yourselves, or you can have a problem, <laughs> but always have a nice crispy pretzel or cracker or something to shove in your gob after you've eaten something you tried. All right.
be good to yourself and be good to others. It makes the world a whole better place. And speaking of a better place, happy pride. It is June after all, and I love you very much. Mwah!